Everyone's sleeping. Now where? We need to find the ancient Egyptian treasure. Oh. Uh-oh, I'm so hungry. Keep it down, will you? Your stomach will give us away. Listen. Okay, no one heard us. Follow me, XL. Okay. Do you know where you're going? Uh, no. Huh. These people sure like to build. Do you think they built any restaurants? Excel, try to concentrate on finding treasure, all right? What did that desert rat say again? He said the ancient Egyptians buried their leaders in chambers full of treasure, so they'd be rich in their next life. <laughs> 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 try to watch where you're going. It was an accident. Fine. Excel, look. We must be getting close. How do you know? Because that's a statue of an ancient Egyptian deity, and they always had those near a temple entrance. Got it? You. Mm. Come on up. Thanks. Let's try to find a door. Hold on, let me catch my breath. Let's see. Oh, nice view. Wait. <laughs> it's corn. You should be up here scouting with me. Forget about food. <laughs> I knew it was corn. My nose never fails me. It's corn. Yahoo! <laughs> What did you do? Where are we? Beats me. I can't see anything. What are you doing? Eating corn. What? How can you? Welcome, <laughs> noble and intrepid sirs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that thing? No, I was hoping you did. Do oh, I don't like this? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the tomb of the great Ramses II. I've been waiting 3,000 years for you to come back. I've never seen him before. Have you? Pinch me. This, this has, has to be a nightmare. 3,000 years in this dark sarcophagus, waiting for the sacred prediction to come true, for you to come back to us. Us? You are Thin and XL, aren't you? Yeah, we are, and who are you? Yeah, what's your name? I'm Ratmosis. Ratmosis? Yes, the keeper of Ramses II's chamber. His burial chamber? That's correct, sir. For 3,000 years I've guarded his mummy and his sacred treasure. We've hit the jackpot, Thin! <laughs> Where is it? Where's the treasure? Tell us quick, where's the treasure room? You're standing in it. Nice try, Ratmo. Yeah, there's nothing here. That's because 3,000 years ago, jackals pillaged this temple and took all the treasure. All of it? Every bit. But my almighty master, Ratsis II, had predicted it. He was pharaoh of all the desert rats and advisor to the great Ramses II. We came here for treasure, not a history lesson. Especially 3,000 years worth. As you wish, sirs. My orders are to guide you to the treasure that was set aside for you. That's more like it. I was assigned here to be at your service. Really? Then how come you let somebody else steal our treasure? Are we supposed to go away empty-handed? Mm-hmm. How could you let our treasure get away? Yeah. But your treasure's still here, oh, as always. That's it. Nobody makes fun of us like that. Yeah, he's probably the one who took it. And in that case, he's gonna learn his lesson. Sirs, please, let me explain. All right, but it better be mighty convincing. This is only the entrance to the mausoleum. 
Further in the temple are at least 50 sacred chambers where the royal mummies were laid to rest, and that's only on the first floor. This way, please. No. This is the tomb of the greatest pharaoh of ancient Egypt, Ramses II, and his wife, the Queen Nefertari, whose beauty has never been equaled. She's lovely. Their mummies and those of their faithful servants were placed here along with all their treasures. Really? Hmm. Just a little more patience, sirs. We're nearly there. And this is the sacred resting place of my master, the great Ratsis II, and his wife, the most beautiful creature the world has ever known, my queen, Cheddar Isis. Whoa, she is beautiful. What do you think? Snap out of it. We're here for treasure. Not to worry. We're getting there. Right this way. I can't believe it, XL. We're finally going to be rich pirates. I'm still not sure I trust him. Nah, this time I know we'll strike gold. Come along. <laughs> this is the statue of Ratsis too. Come closer, please. Ooh. You've made it. But I still don't see any treasure. Me neither, and I'm starting to have my doubts. Doubt no more. Whoa! A stairway! A secret passage! The treasure's down below, sirs, waiting for you. Shall we? <laughs> oh, keep going, XL. Yeah. <laughs> this way, sirs. <laughs> You got the key to that door, right? Of course, sir. I've been guarding it for 3,000 years. Whoa. <laughs> this is it, XL, the moment we've been waiting for. We should have brought bags. Hey, Phil, look! What? What is it? That's us! Man, we look really good, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, we look so adventurous. You see? We've been waiting. It was written that someday you would come. So that picture's 3,000 years old? Do you see we're holding treasure? As I told you before, my master was a prophet. <laughs> he knew you were destined to come here. We know everything about you from the day you were born to right now. And the treasure? Yeah, hand it over already. It's not mine to give you. Only when we have irrefutable proof that you really are XL and Thin, and not a couple of imposters, will the treasure be yours. Huh? You don't believe we're really who we are? It's not my place to judge. Who else could we be, then? My master, the great Ratsis too, devised a foolproof method to determine whether or not you are Thin and XL. This device you see here is absolutely precise. It was created especially for this occasion. Looks like fun. Don't touch it. Huh? Why not? Didn't you say this was designed for us? It's not a toy. It's a crystal scale that's used to determine if you're entitled to the treasure. Oh. Once you climb onto it, your weight will be measured to the exact gram. If it corresponds to the weight predicted by Ratsis too, then the doors to the treasure room will open. Oh. Huh? To the nearest gram? I just had that core. If you should fail the test, that is, if you don't weigh the exact amount... What will happen? You will be punished for having dared to desecrate the sacred ground of Ratsis too. Punished? <laughs> don't worry. Ratsis too was never wrong. What if he was? Then you'll suffer terrible consequences. <laughs> <laughs> However... If you are Thin and Excel, the wandering pirates, you have absolutely nothing to fear. Do, do, do. Let's look at that picture again. Oh. I was afraid of that. Whoever did this made me too thin. Ratsies is wrong and I'm gonna pay. How dare you even doubt the almighty Ratsies too? Anyone who insults the master will suffer a terrible fate. Ah! Your stomach's always getting us into trouble, Excel. Thanks a lot. Enough of this. It's time to get on the scale. Forget it. No treasure's worth this. You can take us to the exit now. I order you to get on that crystal scale. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I'm starting to think you really are imposters. 
This is all your fault, XL. Look at those spears. Don't know. It's just your imagination. <laughs> I can't believe it. Nor can I. After 3,000 huh? years, I'm finally free. However, I have one more task, and that is to take you to Ratsy's too. Why do we have to see him? Yeah. The Royal Highness's desire to give you one more treasure in person. Right this way, please. Where? Through the time tunnel. Time tunnel? Oh. And all this, we'll come back to get it, right? We're keeping it. The treasure's all yours, but you'd better hurry. This door's going to close. Oh, come on, XL. Here goes nothing. Gentlemen, I must inform you that no one in this palace can see or hear either of you. You don't exist for them. What did we do? Nothing. That's just the way it is when you travel in time. Only those with special powers can see us. And only Ratsis II and Queen Cheddar Isis have those powers. Mm -hmm. Now come along. They're so serious. I'm getting scared again, Finn. Here we are. I can't believe we're seeing this, XL. The king of Egypt. Wait till we tell our friends we met the ancient pharaoh. Silence, please. Show some respect. Oh, great, all-knowing majesties, your humble servant salutes you. These are the pirate rats who have come here from the future. Huh? Excel. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Red Moses. She's pretty. It was a pleasure serving you, sirs. I bid you peace and happiness in your future. Goodbye. I'm free, I'm free, I'm finally free! We have asked you here to give you the most precious part of your treasure. Huh? These medals bear the symbol of our magic powers. They can only be worn by those displaying superior oh. merit. They contain <laughs> powerful and mysterious magic. Come forward and let us place these precious medallions upon you. Wear these with dignity and pride. <laughs> Many years of research conducted by our most learned magicians has established that only you two of all our brave descendants are truly worthy to wear these sacred symbols. Use them wisely for good and for the better. Any luck? No, I've looked everywhere. There's no sign of them. Maybe they decided to try and stow away on another pirate ship. I don't 
think so. If I know them, they're probably searching this place up and down for some of that legendary treasure. Well, I don't see why we should all have to wait for those two. Let's leave without them. Come on, Toy, you know better than that. We'd never abandon our friends. We'd better form a search party. Send a team out in every direction. Simba! Simba! I found Etzel's hat! Oh, no! It's over there in the ruins. Follow me, it's not very far. <gasps> Here it is. But how did it get stuck? Beats me. Ooh. Maybe it was foul play. <laughs> this is so frustrating. I wish he could talk like us. I can't understand half the signs he makes. Huh? Hey, the rock moved. It's probably an entrance. Well, nobody's gonna hold our friend underneath this rock. One thing's for sure, both Finn and Excel came here. You sure? You smell through rock? <laughs> of course I can. My nose is never wrong. Let's try to force the doorway open. Everybody get big rocks. We have to get him out of there. I'll go. Wait, Simba. Huh? If you don't mind, I think I should be the one to go. After all, we can't take a chance on the king falling too. <sighs> they don't look too good, but I am getting a pulse. Tonic, please. Here, Alex. More? No, that's fine. Any broken bones? Not that I see. The treasure's oh, in. We forgot the treasure. Go back. What's going on? Huh? Red Moses, where are you? You. They must have fallen on their heads. Red Moses, open up. We forgot to go back for the treasure. <laughs> Wake up, you two. Dream time's over, and we want to talk to you. I'm not sure they're completely with us. They have a strange look in their eyes. Finally! We're glad to have you back. You must have really bonked your heads. I suppose you fell down there looking for treasure. No, you're wrong. We didn't bonk our heads. But we did find treasure, and we met Ratsy's too, the pharaoh and his wife, Queen Cheddar Rices. <laughs> <laughs> we need to hurry and get back on the road. Do you two guys think you're all right to walk? We'll watch them. We can't go. Buckshot, take the others and get started. Sure, I'll tell them you'll catch up. We really did meet the ancient Egyptians, you know. You don't believe us, but it's true. We saw them in person. Hey, Alex, how long before they're back to normal? Huh? Come on! <laughs> what do you think? 
Was it real or not? Or was it a dream? The metal! Hey! I knew it! It wasn't a dream! Wait a sec! It'll only be true if I have a metal too! <laughs> we better not tell anyone. Shh! They think we're loony. <laughs> I wonder what kind of magic it does. And how it works. I don't know. Right now we have to keep them secret. We'll figure it all out when the time's right. Good idea. Come on, let's catch up with them. <laughs> Excel and Thin know that the medals from Ratsy's 2 are priceless treasures. But what kind of powers will the medals give them? Will they be able to help their friends through the dangers ahead? Find out during the next great adventure.